300 years, humans thought they were alone in the Caprulu sector. They were wrong. The Zerg emerged, seeking to consume all in their path. And before long, the Protoss, a highly advanced alien race, began wiping out infested worlds, burning Zerg and Terran alike. A three-way war, unlike anything humanity had ever faced, erupted almost overnight. All the while, a human civil war raged. Marshal Jim Raynor vowed to oppose the corrupt dictator Arcturus Minsk for the betrayal of the woman he loved, Sarah Kerrigan. Ah, uh, boys. How about that evac? Damn you, Arcturus. Don't do this. It's done. Helmsman, signal the fleet and take us out of orbit. Now. Kerrigan, a loyal operative, was left to die at the hands of the Zerg. But the Zerg had other plans. They transformed her and unleashed her psionic power upon the Caprulu sector, searching for their real objective, the Protoss homeworld of Ire. The Protoss were unaware of this danger and slow to respond. Their rulers, the Conclave, had dispatched Executor Artanis to hunt for Tassadar, a commander who had refused to wipe out infested Terran worlds. They crossed paths with a dark Templar mystic, whose kind was considered heretics by the Conclave. Through great effort, Zeratul convinced Tassadar and Artanis that he was not their enemy. Together they rallied more Protoss from both factions against the Zerg. Despite the Conclave's fury, they achieved significant victories against the Swarm. But when Zeratul struck down one of the Overmind Cerebrates, his own mind was left vulnerable. From his thoughts, the Overmind gleaned Ayr's true location, and the Swarm descended upon the Protoss homeworld with all their might and fury. It was Tassadar who kept the Templar from extinction that day. Using the power of both the Templar and the Dark Templar, he sacrificed himself to kill the Overmind. Ayr was lost, but Artanis led the survivors to the Dark Templar's homeworld of Shakuras. Old prejudices were set aside. The Templar were now in the Dark Templar's debt. Without the Overmind, the Swarm fractured. Kerrigan sought control of all the Zerg, even enlisting the aid of old friends and enemies like Raynor, Manx, and Zeratul. Once her rule was uncontested, the Queen of Blades betrayed them all. Billions of humans and Protoss were killed. The Zerg stood unchallenged, but to the relief of all, the war seemed to end there. Zeratul suspected the Zerg had fallen under the control of Dark Forces. He uncovered prophecies stating that an ancient entity, Amon, was attempting to merge Protoss and Zerg lifeforms into an unholy hybrid and that this evil might already have control of Kerrigan and her power. It was during this time that Executor Artanis, hailed as a hero, was made leader of both the Templar and the Dark Templar. As Hierarch, Artanis united both factions and promised to one day reclaim the glory they had lost on Ayr. But such unity is only a dream for Jim Raynor. Mengsk still rules, and Raynor's small rebellion has counted for nothing against the Dominion's propaganda machine. Perhaps it is time for a new strategy. They say a man never really knows himself. Until his freedom's been taken away. I wonder... How well do you know yourself? Come 
traitor. Today, you go free. held a press conference commemorating the end of the so-called Brood War some four years ago. Our own Kate Lockwell was on the scene. Edward, the threat of a new Zerg invasion is still very real, but instead of expanding our fleets, you've squandered trillions on hunting down has-been rebels like Jim Rayner. Jim Rayner represents a clear and present threat to this dominion. He is an unscrupulous, lawless, revolutionary bent ready yet. Your forces are prepared and awaiting your orders, Commander. Uploading tactical data now. Good. About time we kick this revolution into overdrive. Backwater Station is the center of Dominion Logistics on Masara. Destroying Dominion Authority here will cripple Emperor Menk's operations throughout the planet. Agent, what do you got for me? Dominion forces have set up a logistics headquarters in the town of Backwater Station. This has been the hub for all operations on Marsara. The Dominion recently pulled troops out of the city and they are now under strength. Are the locals cooperating? The people of Backwater Station are known to be anti-Dominion, but they lack weapons and organization. If I can take that headquarters away from Mengsk, 
It'll cripple him on this planet. Prep my ship. Let's show the locals they don't need to fear the Dominion. Sell me. Commander, there are tutorial videos awaiting your review. Sounds like a plan. Keep your intervals wide, your eyes open, and your ass is covered. Let's move. Raiders roll. Time to man up. Raiders roll. Sounds like a plan. Don't go up that road. You can count on me. Time to man up. Sounds like a plan. Raider. Kill him! You can count on me. Sounds like a plan. You can count on me. Keep a close watch on your neighbors. Descent will only slow our progress. Commander, destroying the Dominion holoboards will help incite rebellion against the Dominion. Raiders roll. Mighty tired of seeing the mech's face. Blast it. Raiders roll. Sounds like a plan. Where is everyone? Time to man up. Raiders roll. My neighbors. My family. This is starting to look ugly. Sounds like a plan. Commander, a large Dominion force is gathering in the center of town. Then it's time to call in that special delivery we talked about. We could use some help here. Sounds like a plan. Thanks for the assist. We're with you, Raider. We're coming. Stand proud. We must all sacrifice for the glory of the Dominion. Raiders roll. Time to man up. That's Raider! The wanted man in the Dominion! Call me. Sounds like a plan. Time to man up. You can count on me. Raiders roll. Sounds like a plan. Your freedoms must be protected. Time. This is bad. Raiders roll. Time to man up. You can count on me. Finally, there's the locals. You'll all be given a meal when you reach the dig site. My brother went off to the mine last week. He disappeared. We got a runner. They're shooting civilians. Move in. What's the plan? Raiders roll. Time to man up. Raiders roll. Count on me. Thanks, has a lot to pay for. Thank you, Raider. We knew you wouldn't forget us. There's more people still being held up ahead. I'll see to them. 
You can count on me. Marshal Rayner. Been a while since we saw you around here. We're with you, Raiders! Time to man up. Sounds like a plan. This is a restricted area. You insurgents are under arrest. We got your back, Raider. You can count on me. Raiders roll. Count on me. Sounds like a plan. Time to man up. I didn't think we could fight them, but we can. Now you've got the weapons and the resources to do it. Remember, Minx can only control you if you let him. sector. You ain't that hard to find. I had to see it for myself. Little Jimmy Rayner, the people's hero. <laughs> Tychus Finley. <laughs> nice suit. to be prepared. I heard they put you on ice. Live sentence. What? To give you time off for good behavior? That's right, old buddy. I'm a model citizen now. <laughs> so to what do I owe the pleasure? Just a friendly business proposition. Do you even know what the Dominion are doing out here? I'm guessing you're about to tell me. Digging up alien artifacts, old buddy. Your boy Minsk has gone crazy for them. But I got a contact that'll pay top dollar for every artifact we... liberate from the Dominion. I guess I can hardly pass that up now, can I, Tychus? Partners, then. 60 40. 70 30. My way. <laughs> Feels like old times already. Old times. Call me curious, but how'd you get out? 
Well, I busted out of my cryo-freezer while they were transporting me to New Folsom. Oh, I must have killed at least a dozen guards with my bare hands. <laughs> yeah, I've heard this one before. But you left out the part where you walked on water and made off with the warden's daughter. Don't you get up, buddy, with me, boy. I heard all about you becoming a big-time freedom fighter while I was away. What happened, Jimmy? The war for truth and justice get too much for you. I ain't licked yet, Tychus. And I promise you, Minsk is going down, one way or another. This looks recent. This you're doing, Jimmy? Folks in these parts are ready to fight back against Maxx. Guess they just needed a little push. You still take this whole revolution thing pretty serious, then? Everyone needs a hobby, Tychus. This is Donnie Vermillion, live from the UNN Studios on Core Hall. We've got a breaking story for you. Let's go live to our own Kate Lockwell on the fringe world of Marsara. Kate? Thanks, Donnie. Rebel Jim Rayner has reappeared in a big way. He's attacked a Dominion Depot near Backwater Station, seizing weapons and distributing them to the local populace. Kate, I bet the locals are pretty nervous about having a notorious outlaw in their neighborhood. Actually, Donnie, the people I talked to seemed really encouraged thanks, by the... Kate. You heard it here first. Jim Rayner terrorizing the locals on Marsara. When we return, are your kids using stim packs? Keep talking, pal. I'm just getting started. Market. 